Hello all, my name is Ankush Agni Uttri. Today we will continue our Angular journey. This is part 10 of it. If you haven't watched the other part, I suggest you to watch that first. Link is in description. So let's start. Today we will talk about the Angular services. So what is Angular services? Services is a piece of reusable code with a focus purpose. Means it has to deliver some functionality. A code that you will use in many component across your application. Our component needs to access the data. You can write the data related logic in your component but that is very insufficient and it breaks the rule of the single responsibility. The component must focus on presenting the data to the user. The task of getting that data from the backend server must be delegated to some other class. That class is known as the service class because it provides service of the providing data to every component that needs it. So let's understand what Angular services are used for. Basically Angular services are used for providing the services to the independent component. For example you have a logging service that will be shared across your application so you build a logging service for just log whatever be the information or errors and angular services also used to share the logic across your different components it also provide us the encapsulation like it doesn't allow the user to interact with the data access layer directly next is what are the advantages of angular services angular services are easy to test they are easy to debug we can reuse the services at multiple places. Suppose let's we will build our log service. Then we can use it across the different component. We don't need to be write a log service for every component. So let's understand how we can create a Angular services. Before that, let's watch our application architect. Today we will build this user service in our Visual Studio code or in our application session so let's switch to the code now so before we start building an angular service first of all for what purpose we are creating a service we cre we are creating a service for the user for retrieving a list adding it updating it or removing it from the list so basically we need to be write a service for performing the crud operation so for that we first need a user.ts class in which we have defined our properties id name email mobile gender date of birth its active status range user type and the rating next step is open your terminal type a command to create a service that is ng g for generate then as for service now service folder name of the folder in which you want to create a service and your service name in our case it is a user service hit enter angular cli basically creates the user service for us and it will inject that service in the app.module.ts file so here it is it's create the service under the service folder under the src app open it it will create the two service two files for us one is the user.service.spec file this is used for the unit testing second is the user.service.ts file so let's understand its syntax firstly the user service is decorated with the injectable decorator which is injected in the root of your application and inherited injectable decorator is inherited from the angular core library so now let's write our functions in it save our timing I have my functions ready so let's copy it so what they are saying is basically in this we need to be inherit the user class also that we defined so add a namespace for it so let's understand one by one what are the method that we have introduced in our service firstly 
we have a array object of type user in which we have one default record of my name Ankush Agnihotri and then we start building our methods that we need to be use in our service like the get user which will return all the users that is available in our list then get user by id we want to find one particular record that we are interesting it and then we are adding a record in a user list array then we are updating one record and then we are removing one user based upon the id that we are passing it so these are the four method that we need in our service so the next step is how we can invoke this user service into our component for so that we need to be jump it into the user list dot component dot ts over here because this is the component that is going to be consume this user service so how we can import it before we start importing the user model and the user service in the user list component we first need to be create a instance of the user service in the constructor of the user list component so how we can do that we in the constructor we have to be pass the user service user service that is of type user service it will be import the namespace for the same so in this way we have inherited the user service now what we will do we will declare one variable user list that is of type user and we are initializing this so this user imported from the user class so add a namespace for the same now we need to be bind this user list object so let's create one method for it that is get users this method basically retrieve the list for us this dot user list is equal to this dot user service that we have injected in the constructor dot now you can see you have all the methods that you have defined in your service so in our case we want to be retrieve a user list so we have assigned it to the user list object now we have to be jump back to the user list component where we have to be define the style for the same so save our time I have my HTML ready so let's copy it so let's see what we have written so in this we have a heading then we have a button which is calling the get user method that will use our get user list service and then I have one table in which I have defined my components in which I have defined my sorry I have defined my headers and then I have defined my columns with retrieving the user list object so basically I am using the ng4 loop here so I am reading the user list that I have defined in my component that is a local variable of user array type and I am getting each record to it and iterating through it here I am using the date pipe to format my date of birth so that is it let's run our component now npm start this will run our application on the local port 4200 wait for it will build our code is setting up so it's building our application in the meantime yeah it's hot now 
let's run it so go to your user component we have a table and let's click the button now you have a list of users that you have in your service so that's it for this session in next session we will see how to perform the CRUD operation using the our component that we have defined and we will also implement the table paging using the ng prime theme thanks for watching see you in the next lecture